The trial has already started. It's a trial that will go over several months involving 30,000 individuals. We hope that as the time we get into the late fall and early winter, we will have, in fact, a vaccine that we can say would be safe and effective. On July 27th, the U.S. began one of the biggest steps towards combating novel coronavirus, clinical trial phase three. Patients enrolling in any trial are volunteers. They're not specifically chosen. I was always trying to think, what can I do to help in this pandemic? I can't be taking care of patients, but I wanted to get involved in, in doing something. I called up and, and said, can I, can I be part of it? Phase three is the last part of a series of steps in developing a vaccine, which has a standardized procedure. During the exploratory phase, heavy research is done to find an antigen, a foreign molecule that causes your body's immune system to make antibodies to try to kill it off. Typically, this antigen is a weakened or dead strain of the virus itself, and several hundred potential antigen candidates are found. Next comes the preclinical phase, where researchers use tissue in animals to test various antigens. If they don't produce proper antibodies or prove harmful to the subjects, the antigen is discarded as a potential vaccine candidate. Any antigen candidate that passes through preclinical phase then goes through clinical development, which itself is split into three phases. Phase one examines physical responses to antigens, phase two determines safety and proper dosing measurements, and phase three applies those safety measures to a large scale of patients. All right, Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And double salutation to all you Akim out there laboring. The house of David that's pushing his word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. All right, so I'm back at you with another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to jump straight into this article here. This is from the WashingtonPost.com. The title it reads, it says, CDC tells states to plan for coronavirus vaccine as early as November 1st, raising concerns of political pressure, okay? So however you choose to look at it, this is the end, okay? And like the scriptures say, the end has been made manifest, all right? But reading on here, it says, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has told public health officials in all 50 states and the U.S. territories to plan to distribute a coronavirus vaccine to healthcare workers and other high priority groups, okay, which make up you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, okay? You are the high priority groups, which that devil Bill Gates and his wife have a voice openly, okay? It says, as early as November 1st, you see, and this is literally less than two months away, man, okay? So like brothers have been meditating, you know, we just came through the, the Day of Atonement, okay? A couple days ago, you had that chariot that was spotted next to the moon. So in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh we we know that something major is getting ready to go down here in America, all right? Shit is about to hit the fan, okay? As we've been warning you day in and day out. It says, as early as November 1st, according to the CDC guidance, the timeline for possible early distribution has raised concerns that the Food and Drug Administration is rushing to approve a vaccine before Election Day. OK, so all this stuff is happening right before the elections. OK, which also proves that hey, this double Trump, he, he might remain in the office. OK, so the timing is perfect, man. OK, and this is going to cause a uh, uh, civil uproars all through America, man. OK. Hey, hey, we we getting ready to see a a, a mass a, a civil unrest. Okay, let's get this real quick. All right, just add on in the spirit. All right, this is from the uh, this is from yahoonews.com. It says nine COVID nineteen vaccine developers pledge to uphold scientific in integrity. Okay, so this devil is he he's ready to make his move, man. Okay. Jumping down, hitting the main point here. Okay, it says the CEOs of nine companies 
developing vaccines against COVID-19 on Tuesday, pledged to, quote, uphold the integrity of the scientific process amid concern Donald Trump will pressure regulators to approve a vaccine ahead of the presidential election in November. All right. So all of this is, is by design, man. OK. When November comes, this shit is going to get crazy here in America. All right. It says, quote, we 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 the undersigned biopharmaceutical companies want to make clear our ongoing commitment to developing and testing potential vaccines for COVID-19 in accordance with the high with high ethical standards and sound scientific principles, quote, said the CEOs. And this is all bullshit because who's believing this, man? OK, that they're going to with that they're going to uphold, like I said, high ethical standards and sound scientific principles, man. OK, and that's that's all madness, man. This is the devil. Let's get the scripture real quick. All right. This is um, this is Sirach, uh, chapter 12 or Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 12, verse 10, and it reads, it says, Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, man. So you can't trust this devil, okay? And this is how you know this is going to be some heavy shit because, you know, they're trying to say that they're going to practice, uh, um, they're going to use ethical practices, man. You know, meaning that, you know, what's contained in these vaccines are going to be, you know, beneficial for the people, okay? It's not going to be nothing that's going to be... Uh, uh, they're trying to say they basically they're trying to cover their asses by saying that what they're getting ready to give you is not going to be uh, detrimental to your health. OK, so this is all lies. It's all bullshit. All right. So rock 12 and 10. Never trust thy enemy for like as iron rusted. So of his wickedness, though he humble himself. All right. Going back to what they said about these. Um, the, the, their, their commitment to uh, developing, you know, ethical practices and standards. OK. It says. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. All right, so you better be you better be aware uh, uh, of this damn devil, man. Okay, because he's coming with the shit. Okay, mass death is, is is coming. Okay, they're ready to they're ready to roll out their plans, man. All right, it says though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou should be unto him as thou has had it, as thou has had it wipe a looking glass. And thou shall, and thou shall know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away, man. So you can't trust this demon, man. Okay. Like I said, Esau, he's ready to make his move, man. Okay, and that's why the scriptures say in Ephesians what five and um, I think it's five and fourteen that you got to redeem the time because the days are evil. Okay, we are right at the doorstep of this thing, man. Look how fast prophecy has been taken off. All right, we'll be in November in no time. Okay, this is Ephesians 5 and 15. It says, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil, man. Okay, November 1st is right there, man. Okay, and it's already been put out there by the whistleblowers and the different information that's been uh, uh, put out about the, um, the, 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 uh, the destruction that these vaccinations are going to cause. All right. So you got to redeem the time, man. Okay, stay vigilant because the days are evil. Okay, death is coming. All right, it says, uh, verse 17, Ephesians 5 and 17 says, Wherefore be you not unwise, but un but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Okay, and this is the will of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Okay, mass judgment is about to go out of, uh, all across America, all across the world, man. Okay. Two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and, and Hispanics are about to be judged, man. Okay, this is that time of the uh, of the hour of temptation, and these um these nine uh, major pharmaceutical companies, okay, they're all you know they all came together you know to 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 bring forth these vaccines and also to push forth that chip, okay. So hey, some some serious times is coming, man. All right, Ephesians five and eighteen. It says, and be not drunk with wine, wherein is access, but be filled with the spirit. All right. Hey, and we got to stay on our watch, man. You know, because, hey, this shit is about to get ugly out here in America, man. All right. But I just want to bring this out real quick, man. All right. We, we that much closer, you know. But I'm going to close it out by saying, call Halayim Layah, Habashim Elishai, Bashim Rakakwadash.
Double honors to my elders and apostles of great millstone who taught me this truth. All right, and double salutation to all you Akim out there laboring. Shalom.